my name is Dinma and today we are going to make this beautiful Madhubani glass painting. This is a Madhubani painting which is made on glass. Please do watch the whole video to learn how I have made it. And friends, please do subscribe my channel to watch more creative art painting videos. And do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video I post every week. All the materials required to make this beautiful Madhubani glass painting are mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them as well as shown in the video. To get this image, to use it as a reference, please do click on the link www.creativeathome.com which is my website. So enjoy painting friends. Friends, first of all, let's check out all the materials which we are going to require for glass painting. First of all, we are going to require fabric-filled glass colors which are water-based and available in 10 shades. And secondly, we'll be requiring Camlin glass liners. There are three types of glass liners I generally use. First of all, the 261 metallic gold camel glass liner or else the 262 metallic silver camel glass liner or else the 832 black glass color liner from Fevicryl which is available with the box itself. And as a base, we are going to use OHP sheet. So this is a OHP sheet. It is a transparent sheet which is quite flexible and on it it is really very easy to do glass painting and if you don't get OHP sheet you can also use a real glass here you can see this is a piece of glass this is a A4 size of glass this is not flexible here you can see either you can use a glass or else you can also use a OHP sheet and other than that you will require a reference this is the reference I'm going to use for this painting and other than that you'll also need a tape to secure all the four sides so let's start now here friends this is the photocopy of the Madhubani painting we are going to use and now I'm going to place my transparent OHP sheet on the photocopy and using tape I'm going to secure all the four sides the OHP sheet and the reference we are using okay friends so the sides are secured now I'm going to use a black 832 glass color outliner from Fevicryl for outlining friends here I'm going to start outlining from one side of the OHP sheet you can start from wherever you find comfortable So friends, in the same way, I'm going to do the lining part and show you how does it looks, okay? Okay friends, so here our lining part is finally completed. So using a cutter, I'm going to remove all the four sides. Now friends, I'll just remove and place it on a plain horizontal surface. And this is how it looks. I have placed it horizontally so that you can view it clearly. So now friends, using 261 metallic gold Camlin glass liner, we are going to make few improvements and design in this. Now friends, we are just going to make a few simple lines over here on the tree. Okay friends, so in the same way I'm going to complete the decorating part and then I'll show you how does it looks. okay? So friends, here we have finally completed our lining part and this is how it looks. So now we are going to start coloring using Fevicryl glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades. For this painting, we are going to require very minimum colors. First of all friends, I'm going to use pink color and we are going to color the flowers center as pink. So I'll fill it up using pink. And in lotus also I'm going to use pink. And for leaves we are going to use parrot green color.
And now the leaves of the lotus also I'm going to color using parrot green color. Now friends, to make the fishes look more beautiful, I'm going to use my 262 metallic silver glass liner and place few dots inside the scales we have made. Now friends, I'm going to use yellow color for the flowers. Now for the fish fins also I'm going to color it yellow. For the head and the tail I'm going to use orange color. And now for the tree friends I'm going to use a red color and I'll cover it totally using red. Okay friends, so this is completed now. So we'll first of all let it get dry and then only we'll start coloring the background part, okay? Now friends, I'm going to use my antique white color for coloring this part and I'll totally cover it using the white color. Now friends, I'm going to use a black color and cover the whole background of this tree using black. So friends, in the same way, I'm going to fill up the whole background using black and then I'll show you how does it looks, okay? Here yeah, friends, I have finally completed coloring the whole background as a black and this is how it looks. I have also made a very simple and beautiful dotting borders using the dots. I have just done the black dots and after that the white dots and the filling I have done using the red color, okay? So now I'm going to just let it get dry and then I will show you how does it looks, okay? Here yeah, friends, our Madhubani glass painting is, has finally got dried up and okay it is completely dry i have kept it total for at least 24 hours to get dry completely so i'll just turn it for you this is how beautiful our madhubani painting looks when i have turned it the designs are very clear and beautiful the background black suits very good with the border itself and the white and black combination so i'll just quickly frame it for you friends and then show you how does it looks okay so friends this is how our beautiful madhubani glass painting looks when i have framed it using a black border i have used a very thin black border with a white board support which gives a contrast to this painting which actually suits the painting as i have done black and white as a contrast so i have also provided the black and white as a border which makes the painting look much more beautiful please do tell me in the comments below how did you find this video friends and if you did like this video please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching